So a lot of you have been asking about visual snow as a symptom of what you're going through. We see them a lot with autonomic cases, but it's also a thing that happens in concussion and head injuries. And it's when we actually affect from the retina being able to signal back to the occipital lobe. And obviously that's a big path with a lot of stops along the way that could be affected. And we can look at them and help isolate where they are based on how much of your vision is affected. So whether it's your whole field, half the field, whether it's this half of one eye and this half of one eye or a quarter and a quarter. And those help us to be able to understand that a little bit. From there, we work on how do we help that integrate better so that we can increase the processing speed and see if we can start to minimize some of that visual snow. The second one that people notice a lot is an entopic phenomenon. Usually it's a blue entopic phenomenon. We want to make sure we differentiate these because a blue entopic phenomenon is actually relatively normal. We don't worry about that one very much. And it's where like when you look up in a blue sky or at a white wall, and you might notice these little like amoeba looking things going through your vision and you're actually seeing blood cells kind of squishing through the capillaries. If you're aware of them, you can pick them up and see them because they refract light a little bit differently and we're able to pick them up. Usually people are unsensitive to it and they don't notice it and they kind of filter it out of, of what they pay attention to. But if we've got symptoms or disturbances in your vision, they'll become more prominent. But these ones we don't worry about. We don't try to solve or we just let them be there. But the visual snow, we do try to see where we can affect functionality in a way to try to minimize the response.